scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. What is so exceptional about what you do? What do you do that will make me feel like I am losing a lot? If I don't partner with you. Everybody say competence. Say it, competence. Say it again, competence. Listen, if you pay attention to what I'm saying, you will reap an endless, you will reap an endless benefit. Competence. Favor then is when preparedness the day God wants to bless you he will station your destiny helpers close to you men and women who have the perception and the strength to reward your value and then he says now you have prepared yourself there are too many you know the problem with many of us look at me this 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 pressure for recognition I want to know that I'm a CEO. I said it, I think it was to the School of Ministry students. People write books after 10, 20 years of a track record. But in Nigeria, people write books to start up what they are doing. So someone who has nothing writes 81 keys to the billionaire lifestyle. A book it's an authorization for men to listen to you based on a result that is obvious in your life. You are documenting your persuasion to create a track for people to follow. Years ago, a few, well, they are not really my friends, but they are ministers too. They met me and said, Apostle, at your level, there are some bishops who are not like you. You should be on TV and radio. I said, I hear so that I will get to a point where I'm limited and I have to beg for partners. Isaiah 77, give me Isaiah 61, give me 61 naira or 610 naira. I don't want to do all those things. I don't want to stand on air playing gimmicks. I want a situation where the day Koinonia comes on air, someone will say, this is what I've been looking for. I have I have one, I mean, I have a business that is producing $10 million every month. I've been looking for a ministry to sponsor. This is it. Solutions provided. Problems solved. Lives transformed. And you enter your Sabbath at once. Please hear me, Koinonia. And all those following. Not everybody is a victim of this recession. I tell you the sincere truth from the depth of my heart. I say it with all humility and not in any boastful way. I say it with all humility and not in any boastful way. The finance of this ministry has skyrocketed in a way and a dimension that is irrecoverable this year, more than any year put together. Now, please, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm boasting. I'm only challenging you. In a time we call recession. Say something I do not know. Say it again. Something I do not know may be responsible for my limitation. 
one of my pastor friends started bus transport bus services and he called me he said apostle i can't believe this you've been transporting people on bus services and we're not so much in our church just at one junction where everybody will wait after one month we looked at when they sent the report i said nobody it trek from wherever you are coming and we've done this without fail not for friday's program any time this ministry is holding any program once it is night we're a responsible ministry at any time whether it was planned or not brothers and sisters there is something that is being done this is where i'm taking you to it was not like that our first crusade they were almost locking me because of 150,000 Aaron. Whereas the money that is circulating now was still there. I have learned through pain. I have learned through mistakes. I've learned through mentorship and you are receiving it for free. I pray that you will treasure it. And I pray that it will lift you higher than ever. Some of you are about to get married. You know you are not ready. Are we together? You already know, not by revelation by wisdom that your wife is going to suffer you know that your children are going to suffer how do i know that there is no plan dotham was became mighty because he prepared his way before the lord you are not preparing your way there can't be greatness don't be too quick to show forth prepare everybody say prepare prophesy to yourself say myself prepare myself be competent myself work on yourself hallelujah prepare don't make noise don't take this colleague mentality moving around i used to know you pastor femi we are fellow pastors colleague mentality is the key to the undoing of many people oh we were classmates the same class the same university the same this the, we are both doctors we are both professors no 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 the bible says one star different from another in glory say in the name of jesus there is a, an ability say there is a gift within me that is greater than Zaria, greater than Nigeria. There is an intrinsic value within me that can bless me, that can bless the kingdom, and I will search it out. Hallelujah. There is an intrinsic value. Now, intrinsic value has to do with value that is inherent. The only thing you do is to develop it, is there. I'll give you an example intellectual property. It's an intrinsic value. You don't refrigerate it. You don't warm it. You don't keep it in a safe, in a bank. It's there, it's there. You've trained your mind, intelligence, intellectual property is there. He's playing this keyboard now. This is intrinsic value. It's value within him. Value that does not depend on the external environment for its performance. Are we together now? A photocopying machine is not an intrinsic value. The machine needs a demand. The machine needs a lot of things. The machine needs light. Are we together? The greatest way to rise is to work first on your intrinsic value. You have the grace to sing, work on it. You are an entrepreneur, work on it. Don't say I'm a CEO. CEO that is not producing results is a sign to sit down say I'm a potential CEO there are people moving all around with complimentary cards and flattering themselves I am this and that and that I'm into real estate agro allied products and so on and so forth we have branches in, in, in Ghana Benin Republic, Port Harcourt Lagos and so on and so forth and you look at the person who is talking you ask him sir what do you know about real estate? Say, look, that's not the most important thing. Me, I'm telling you, my father did it. He gave me, and he has one plot of land somewhere. You see, we, we mock ourselves. Packaging is only meaningful when there is content. Packaging is only meaningful when there is content. 
Packaging without content is like a balloon. You hold a balloon and claim that the balloon is, is a metal. You will just touch it and it will burst. I sing better than many people who are called into the music ministry. Yet, they want me to buy their album. No. I told you last week, there are many people who claim they can cook. They have restaurants. Are we together? And you start bullying people and say, ah, shouldn't you come and eat in my restaurant? I saw you the other day. Ella, you should come to my restaurant to eat. Are we not fellow koinonia people? She wants to be healthy. She wants to be healthy. And as far as it is concerned, you have not worked on yourself. One of our school of ministry ladies, uh, um, she made one beautiful work, just a beautiful artwork. The students saw it. I mean, she's here. Very fantastic artwork. And when I saw it, I said, my goodness, this is excellent. I told her, improve yourself and monetize your value. Monetizing your value is the last thing you do when it is flawlessly competent. Then you place a price on it. Are we together? Now, I want everybody to write. Write three things you know God has put in you that must be developed and deployed. Please write it down. Young, old, write it down. Type it, write, do whatever it is. Please write it down. Don't flatter yourself. Don't write what you don't have. Just patiently think and you'll find your own. Don't just write because your neighbor wrote something. Value. Value. Aaron is here. He handles most of the logistics of the you know, people around. Different kinds of logistics. Why? Because he's worked on himself and he's still working on himself. The other day I went to his house and I saw a blackboard close to his uh, just a little like dining or thereabout and his little office that he has and I saw him writing goals. I saw targets. I saw plans of action. I said this is excellent. This person is going to go far. Please do not think discovery simply means it is worthy of reward. That you have discovered a thing does not mean they will reward you. It must be developed to the highest level of excellence and then communicated with integrity, communicated with discipline, and communicated with the anointing. hallelujah I met a pastor and the pastor told me something he said man of God if you is quite an elderly man he said if you continue going the way you are going you are going to have such an exceptional ministry I said thank you sir I intend to and that's why I seek people like you to add to my life I am not ashamed of my ignorance I'm not ashamed of my limitations and the thing that I do not know there are many things I do not know I know some but there are many others if I knew them I would not be where I am and I humble myself to seek for knowledge I see the way people trivialize knowledge and trivialize the sacrifices of others are we together you call somebody you perceive to be valuable and then you tell the person when can I come and meet you or when can you come and meet me and the person says why he say I have a business proposal I want us to rob minds together sit down with your broke bad attitude and you will never rise never never rise there's so many people who do that why am I challenging you I want you to rise beyond the recession You've heard the testimonies of people. This money has not flown anywhere. This greatness has not flown anywhere. The concept of recession to an individual is a mirage. Hear me. Please hear me. I understand business. I'm not daft. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm saying. The concept of recession is not supposed to be explained from an individual platform. It is when you look at the economy territorially societally then you can say based on the gdp of a nation based on certain indices a nation when it does not meet certain things then there is a, a recession there is inflation or whatever it is but not an individual there has been no time in the bible where famine affected everybody there were 
there, there has always been exemption those who offer value are the ones who are exempted please hear me what gives you the justification that between today Friday and next Friday something would have entered your hand or I'm not necessarily just saying money somebody would have acknowledged the fact that God is using you to bless him my life has been transformed what value do you have you see the anointing does two things it activates something within you that was not there and amplifies something within you that is there it activates something within you that was previously not there or introduces a better word introduces something within you that was not there like the healing grace right like revelation the capacity utterance but then it also amplifies something within you that is there like creativity like leadership like your gift So number one, your encounter with God that produces a fear of God in you. Number two, a transformed mind. Transformed beyond your cultural limitations. Number three, the discovery and the development of your abilities, your value. Please do not forget this. Greatness, wealth, any kind of achievement in the kingdom is based on a reward system. It's not just the issue of the will of God. The issue of the will of God as far as our greatness is concerned is not a mystery. It is clear in the word. I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord Jeremiah 29 and the 11th chapter. Thoughts of good and or peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1. It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I commanded this day, right? That you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. There is always a part you have to play. There is a part that I have to play. Huh? Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law, he says, shall not depart from out of thy mouth. He says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. Then he says, then, only then, shall thou make thy way prosperous and you shall have good success. Success that does not steal away the time of your family. Success that does not steal away your life. Are we together? Give me five, ten minutes. Let me talk a little. Let me take point three a little more. Write this down, please. I know that I've taught a lot about finances, but let me just talk for 5-10 minutes on a few things about our financial life. Number one, let me tell you something. A job alone will limit you. I want, to, I want to expand your horizon and work on your creativity a bit. A job alone will limit you. Brothers and sisters, no matter how much of a job you get, no matter how great of a job you get, a job does not have the capacity to fund your assignment. Your needs are plenty. Family needs. The average African family has siblings that are looking up to you for assistance. It's capital intensive to live in Nigeria. To send children to school. Almost all of us here, by the time you are a Christian and you are born again, you have commitments to your church, to your group, to your ministry. And part of it is financial commitment. Part of it, there are several things you have to do that take money from you. You are broke. Let me give us a little financial intelligence. We'll always add this. You are broke any time your inflow is far far less than your outflow it, it is it is it, it you will always without fail be on deficit one naira comes into your life 
you need four naira to go out of your life you will be in trouble you will have to be in trouble you cannot be earning 50,000 naira probably a hundred thousand and believe that that in itself you remove tight you remove a lot of things it is just not enough that's the challenge with our parents hundred thousand was enough when they had one child now they had they have five children but their finances have not increased so he's spinning them and straining them to death are we together what then is the solution activate other streams of income 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 don't sit down running around and say there's no job and i don't mean don't do small mediocre things that waste your time your energy your money and then at the end nothing comes out from it activate streams of income work on your mindset monetize your intrinsic value that is being developed you will rise above recession i tell you are we together did you know for instance did you know for instance every week we rent chairs in the dozens during the miracle service we rent thousands of chairs in the dozens that's someone's business are we together that's someone's business every week there are things only in this ministry alone that can make an individual a millionaire if he knows how to create a system around that value and supply it just i mean just koinonia alone please activate streams of income take responsibility for your life and don't give people anything substandard you are you are insincere and you are ungodly when you whet the appetite of people over a value you know you cannot offer don't be that insincere make sure that you have worked on yourself and you are competent enough then you can open up your hands for value don't collect a contract to help somebody roof his house and then you roof nonsense no don't do that if you know you cannot work on it package yourself work on yourself i work on myself every day i returned back from my trip yesterday as tired as i was i made sure that my daily goals were met please don't you think that it is just the anointing the anointing is there i'm going to talk about it paul said i thank my he says i am what i am by the grace of god he said but this grace was not showered upon me in that i labored more than ye all i prepare an average of two to three sermons every week it takes time it takes research it takes staying in the spirit there are other aspects of my life i'm involved in what are you doing there is no laziness don't sit down and say oh god when will you change my my situation don't sit down and say who will come and marry me out of this problem nobody at least nobody in koinonia and brothers don't wait and say which lady bible say he that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord Are we together this is the undoing of africa this is the undoing of many people my neighbors um they bought a few months ago they bought a grinding engine and the moment they bought that grinding engine and stationed there at once they became relevant in that environment almost all the houses within that environment no longer enter a car and go to samaru to go and grind beans or whatever they come to them what is their reward the transportation of everybody who should go there now comes to them a place that was previously very quiet and conservative now you see the people early in the morning the engine is up and they are grinding sometimes till late in the night and they are making money from it please i want you to go back and sit down and be sincere with yourself young and old sit down and say i now see why things are not working in my life i now see why i'm feeling the heat of the recession i am not saying you should be a money monger remember we've done financial dominion so you cannot sit down and say now which business do i do uh -uh. that's a wrong question 
how do i develop myself to rise to a point of value when you are valuable then now you build a system around that value that's what we call business business is simply the art of packaging your value that has been developed to serve a targeted people then you receive financial rewards among other things there's nothing mysterious about business building a business is simply having a value converting it to a product or a service that is needed and useful and then creating a system that informs your potential customers of what you have to give very simple but it's not as simple as it sounds the last point rise to a point of value rise to a point of value the last point what is the fourth key to becoming transgenerationally relevant the fourth key to rising beyond recession we name the series thrive to thrive does not mean to manage the tribe to thrive means to blossom thrive gives a picture of a plant growing out you see how a plant grows out of the soil and you see it moving regardless of of the strength of the soil it shoots through it and it blossoms that's what it means to thrive you don't thrive if there are no obstacles you thrive in spite of obstacles the fourth key is an encounter with the anointing ah, anointing. anointing fall on me anointing fall on me let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me anointing fall sing it one more time everybody anointing fall of the Holy Ghost. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Ah. I love what I'm about to share with you. I'm telling you because it's something that has changed my life. You, you, see, you see the amazing dimension of God when you understand the anointing. You are amazing, Tim. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Oh, oh, oh. anointing write this down let me give you a few definitions about the anointing the anointing you are amazing yeah. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Write this down. The anointing is God's seal of authorization to represent Him in your territory. The anointing is God's seal of authorization. It's His authorization upon an individual to represent Him. The authorization for legislature the authorization to represent God and to represent heaven on earth the anointing number two the anointing 
is the capacity to produce change and compel compliance. The capacity to produce change and compel compliance. Psalm 66 verse 3. How terrible art thou in thy ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. To compel compliance. Number three. Now I love this definition. The anointing is an empowerment to manifest the possibilities in God. An empowerment to manifest, to reveal, to make known the possibilities that are resident in God. There are possibilities in God. It's a slogan that we use here. Experience possibilities. I think the media should do a montage on this. Experience possibilities. It's a slogan we have come to not just recite but believe. We've indoctrinated ourselves with the fact that there, there are limitless possibilities in God. And those limitless possibilities can find expression. To the degree to which the unction, the grace of God is at work upon the life of an individual. The Bible is a compendium. An unfolding of the possibilities that are resident in God. Revealed from generation to generation. Hallelujah. I got a testimony recently and um, I'm sure they may be following online. And they, they sent it to me so I can share it in the open. When we went to Yola... For the last crusade a few months i think a month or two ago we went to yola one of the person who was driving me around is a doctor phd you know with his wife he's been married and they've, they've been i mean no child this thing has not worked for them and he decided that he was going to drive me around as a seed you know it's been a while they've been married they're probably following now and his wife couldn't take in and you know when they were done we're about to leave i asked him i said what would you want the lord to do and then prayed for them and he sent me a text I think it was on our way to Bauchi now on our Kogi. no no Bauchi it was on our way to Bauchi I just got a text he said apostle the text is still on my phone he said I called to tell you that my wife went to the hospital and they said I think she's three or a month pregnant say results shout it listen results are evidences that God is alive not just an evidence that a man is anointed it's much more than that it's much more than that it's much more than that during our dinner we'll be playing some videos i hope that the media would consider that i don't know what their plans are but i hope that they should incorporate that and one of the things that we're going to be doing is playing clips and showing you a few pictures of some of the external ministrations and some of you will marvel and wonder marvel and wonder at the hand of God and what he can do when a man is anointed I've said it and I will say it again and again the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference how can the anointing make a difference when it is the difference it is the very difference when all is said and done the grace that comes upon the life of a man I have found David my servant and with my holy oil I have anointed him and the enemy shall not exert upon him and then he reads on and he says and in his in my glory shall his horn be exalted listen let me tell you something I have come to respect the anointing not because of what it has done in my life alone but this ministry you see is a place of possibilities the testimonies, the tearful testimonies that have come. And it's not just because of Joshua Selman. Take the anointing out of my life and I'm as empty as this chair you see. Are we together? Someone's life is going to be changed because of the anointing. Someone's life will rise because of the anointing. Listen, after you've worked on your gift, your gift needs to be anointed. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's your gift anointed. 
it says the spirit of man is the candle of the lord but candle without fire on it cannot give illumination are we together there is an anointing that can come upon you and change the dimension of your entrepreneurial exploits and you will see things happen that you never believe there is an anointing that can come on you and your academic career just skyrockets in a way and a dimension there is an anointing that can come upon your music ministry so much more than the vocal competence and your work you lift a voice and sing a song and that song becomes somebody's healing that song becomes someone's i was watching a video today covenant christian center and i was watching their their um leadership their, their summit that they hold their yearly summit and i was listening to some speakers and while they were talking i said my god these guys are not just business moguls they are they are absolutely anointed absolutely anointed. are we together thou anointed my head with oil you did not anoint my cup you anointed my head but that anointed translated to my cup overflowing there is a relationship between what is on your head and what flows from your cup thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over in second kings chapter 4 the wife of the son of the prophet went to elisha and elisha said what do i need to do to you what is what is wrong what is the problem and she said you know this and that there is this situation and then he says what do you have in your house and she said nothing thy handmaid had nothing except a little cruise of oil and he said that's it he said go and borrow vessels verse 3 go and borrow vessels from all your neighbors he said borrow not a few borrow not a few if you increase capacity every oil assumes the shape of the container that holds it if i pour this water on the cover listen if i pour this water on the cover the cover will limit the water this makes this water look as though it is triangular pour it in a plate the plate will become like that thank you are we together the anointing and then when she got it he now told her, i said go and close the door when the prophet was talking the anointing is a living thing it was hearing it was hearing the discussion and the moment she did that she began to pour the oil the oil began to multiply listen it's not enough to be anointed you must be anointed at a level that can command notable results it's not enough to be anointed the anointing is like currency the anointing is like currency hundred naira can buy sweet but hundred naira cannot buy shoe but it is still money so don't say i'm anointed the bible says acts chapter 10 right when paul was speaking in the house of cornelius the salvation of the jews in verse 38 he said how god anointed look at the extent to which god anointed jesus so it's not just that jesus was anointed look at the extent how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and then the bible says on the strength of that anointing he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil why for god was with him the anointing is not an instrument to shake and fall down and roll no those are just effects of the anointing on the human body and then alongside with other spiritual dynamics that happen at the point of impartation but the proof that a man is anointed is not shaking results results i don't care whether you shake like a leaf results brothers and sisters i just want to praise i live my hands to say 
I love you, you are everything to me and I exalt your Jesus, are you the Messiah? Is it true that the anointing is on you? And Jesus said, all right, watch this. The blind eyes open, the deaf ears hear, and he said, go back and tell John. How do you know a man who is anointed? Results. Results. Don't trivialize results. It's not all about the results. Are you joking? What then is it about? Results. Lives changed. Results. Hallelujah. When there are miracles and signs and wonders and lives transform, you speak to someone and just one prophetic word turns his life around. You've had all kinds of testimonies here. Someone with jam result 140 something. After prayer, you come back 260 something. How do you explain that? It's the anointing. A woman barren for eight years returns with triplets no cs how do you explain that results are we together results a whole family almost ravaged with hiv that cause and it's not by sleeping around and just one prayer and everyone is healed not just one person it's called results. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you the truth. You may be criticized, but you will never be ignored. Once the anointing of the Spirit is upon the life of a man, upon the life of a business, Satan will raise criticisms. Why? So that your word will not be heard. So that you will not be believed. And so that people will not be blessed. But here's what the Bible says. You can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. The truth was buried only for three days. After three days, it came back to life. Results. Results. Notable results. Not just results. It says the spirit of the Lord. Please give us Isaiah 61. The messianic prophecy. It was a prophecy about Jesus Christ. The spirit of the Lord is upon me, he says. For he has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the poor. To bind up the broken hearted, to set the captives free. Are we together? And then he continues and he says to proclaim liberty to the captives. And all of that to proclaim the year of vengeance of our God. And all of that to comfort all those who mourn. Verse 3. And then he says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give them beauty for ashes. That's what the anointing does beauty for ashes the oil of joy for the garment of praise right or oh, I'm, I'm the oil of joy for money the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness then it says that they may be called oaks or trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he through them might be glorified that they may be called oaks of righteousness Brothers and sisters, when a man comes to a ministry, wretched, terrible, not born again, and something happens to him, it's called the anointing. You get born again, you get filled with the Holy Spirit, your life is transformed, your mindset is changed, you become a leader, you become an ambassador of the kingdom, then you are now anointed again to reproduce say The anointing. There is nothing one of our core values as you know in this ministry is the anointing we believe in the anointing and we believe that anything that is done outside of spiritual empowerment is a waste of time absolutely so you will see the technical department preparing as though they are prayer band because everything is done with respect to the anointing they believe that the sounds are not just instruments of physics they are spirit and life are we together 
listen please hear me I do not boast to have risen so far compared to where I need to go I am just starting but I can tell you this I have had the privilege of mentorship to clean upon the shoulders of those who represent the systems of God upon the earth and this is what they have done and this is what they do daily the keys are finite the keys are not infinite but every one of them is important for the door to open the keys to your destiny they are not infinite they are not so many but each and every one of them must be there in place it's like a code your passion for God a transformed mind your gifts and your abilities and then the anointing of God upon you no 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 you can't be weak you can't be weak you can't be weak it's my prayer that after this teaching someone will not just hear and say wow this was nice honestly when you see me talk like this I talk from my heart because this is it you know sometimes you can be looking for what you don't even know it is but when someone who has found it says look this is what you are looking for don't go around and waste your time and come back and say ah, ah, I didn't know it was like this hallelujah Holy Spirit you are welcome fill this temple with your presence make sure you talk to him while praying Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Sing it one more time. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Hey, Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Welcome to our lives and destinies. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you, Lord, we wait on you, we wait on you, Lord, we wait on you, I wait on you, I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. Please pray, please pray, those outside, you can call me, clear the way for them so they can come. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. I want you to sing the song, it's not a special number. Fill this temple with your power. That's what we need. The anointing upon our lives. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple. We wait on you. Spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Shabarataya. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. This is my prayer, Lord. You are the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Take your place. Take your place. Take your place.
to mean business with your destiny ah. I want you to mean business with your destiny don't worry about the rain there are people who will direct you strategically don't be distracted Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. Father, I declare that my mindset must change. Lift your voice and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Change my mindset. Change my mindset. Change my paradigm. listen to me the quality of your life on earth is dependent on your level of mental transformation not every information is needed and useful for your destiny the fact that you are getting informations does not mean you are growing the fact that you are learning new things does not mean you are rising the information you are getting must be needed and useful it must be needed and useful I like you to pray and say Lord the grace to edit everything that is not useful for my life and destiny lift your voice and pray the right knowledge the right information the right knowledge the right information hallelujah hallelujah it's raining but we're still praying 
Hallelujah. Apologize to some of those who are at the aisle outside. Sincerely apologize. Hallelujah. As much as possible, if they can find any place, even if it's just outside, let's see how we can help them. But regardless of what condition you are in now, let me tell you, it is profitable what you are doing. Because it will pay you more than money in the name of Jesus. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, what have you put in my life that should bless my world? Reveal it, reveal it to me. Lift your voice and pray. Lord my gift Lord the ability that you have put within me in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost there is an ability, 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 there is an ability within my spirit, there is an ability that can change my life, there is an ability that can change my environment. Hallelujah. 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 We're praying. The Bible says there is this treasure. The vessel containing it may be earthen, but the treasure is not earthen. It says there is this treasure in Joshua Selman. There is this treasure in Koinonia that the excellency of power may be of God and not of man. I'd like you to say every gift you have put in me, Lord, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Lift your voice and pray. Every hidden potential. Every hidden potential. I'm rising beyond recession. I'm rising beyond limitation. There is a gift in me. Embrace Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 60 verse 1 says, Arise, shine, not because you are tired of sitting down. He said, They that sat in darkness, the city of Nephtha and Zebulun, he said, They have seen a great light. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The Bible says for darkness, confusion shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people. He said, but upon you, his glory shall arise. Verse 3 says, Gentiles, hallelujah, Gentiles shall come. You will not look for them. Gentiles will come to your light. Gentiles will come. You will not publicize. There is an unction. There is a gift. There is an ability. Gentiles shall come to your light, then their kings to the brightness of your rising. It says your gates shall be continually open. They will not be closed day or night to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Listen. I want you to lift your voice and cry and say all those who have been ordained to honor my gift 
I call them into my life. Lift your voice and pray. Please be serious. Everyone in every territory, called, ordained, anointed. Everyone called to honor your gift. Your capacity, your education, your skill, everyone ordained of God, everyone ordained of God, everyone ordained of God to honor what you carry, call them for by the power of the prophetic, by the power of the prophetic. I call them, I call them into my life. I call them into my destiny. I call them into my life. I call them into my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I command them to appear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Bible says. For everyone that asketh, receiveth. And to him that seeketh, he will find. And to him that knocks, the door will be open. When you knock on that door, it will open, I assure you. I like us to pray. I like you to cry for a fresh anointing that will lift you higher. You are not down, but where you are is the limitation of the unction in ministry, in business. There is an oil, there is an unction. Thou anointest my head with oil. Lift your voice and pray for more. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Upon my life, fresh grace. Upon Koinonia, new levels, new dimensions of kingdom exploit. For the sake of His Majesty. Oh, upon my life, upon my life, I cannot be ordinary. I cannot be ordinary. There is a supernatural anointing, the power of the Holy Ghost, taking me higher, taking me higher. The power of the Holy Ghost, a superior unction upon my life, a superior unction upon my business, a superior unction. Pray. Upon my marriage, a superior unction, an unction that cannot be ignored, an unction that cannot be ignored, an unction that cannot be ignored, an unction that cannot be ignored. Everyone that asketh, receive it. Everyone that asketh, receive it. Everyone that asketh, receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. It's raining, but hear me. I am a living testimony that when a man cries unto God, he can hear. The last two or three months have been phenomenal seasons of my life. 
stepping into strange operations of graces and unctions testimonies beyond imagination you can pray it through genuine desire a heart that is thirsty thou son of david have mercy on me thou son of david anoint me affect my life breathe on me i look to you for life affect my life breathe on me affect my life breathe on me I look to you for life. I thank my life. Breathe on me. As I look to you for life. I thank my life. Breathe on me. I look to you for life. I thank my life. Breathe on me. As I look to you for life. I thank my life. of Solomon says because of the ointment so do the virgins love thee because of the ointment so realms you have never entered will come to you it's not just talking of women because of the ointment upon my head so do the virgins love thee they desire to be with you We are going to pray. I want you to pray this prayer with all your heart. You are going to challenge every door of limitation. See, let me tell you. Honestly, if we are to be truthful with ourselves, there are people, you are not down, but you are not up either. You can move up. When you are up, you know you are there. I like you to pray and say, I challenge limitations. You are a spirit and I speak to you. This season you are living. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. I challenge limitation over my life. I challenge limitations. I challenge limitations. Everything fighting my anointing, fighting my influence, fighting the glory of the Lord. Upon Koinonia, I challenge you in the name of Jesus. We come with the rod of a higher priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray again. It's a year of multiplied grace and influence. Multiplied grace. Influence means a platform. A platform that can afford you an opportunity to shape the minds of people. I like you to pray. We have been indoctrinated that influence is a bad thing. Without influence, the kingdom cannot advance. The key to kingdom advancement is not just evangelism, it's influence. The key, and I, if I be lifted up, not if I be talked about, I will draw all men. The capacity to stand at the front line of systems and legislate and be a communicator of the realities of Christ. I like you to pray and say, Lord, every influence destined for me, I decree that the grace for it must come on me. Lift your voice and pray. Oh, desire it. Your heart is pure. Influence. Access to kings. Access to nobles. Access to kings. Access to nobles. Access to kings. Access to nobles. Access to kings, access to nobles, access to kings, 
access to men of influence access to custodians of systems hallelujah hallelujah one of the blessings and the secret that is responsible for the ease in this ministry is unusual access unusual influence God has given us access to politicians access to governmental figures access to kings access to financial people access to mentors access to voices that can advocate access to the credibility of men access to their willingness to let you leverage upon their success i want you to pray again and say lord the access i need to end struggle bring it to my life bring it to my life lift your voice it's not as hard as we make it influence is powerful influence is powerful please i like you to pray lord i desire influence the capacity to rise to a platform where your name can be heard where your glory can be seen hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord listen the body of jesus was hanging on the cross the body would have remained there indefinitely it was not a prayer warrior that demanded the body a man of influence called joseph of arimathea the bible says he was a noble man a man of influence and he used his access are we together to herod to caesar to demand the body of jesus he was a noble man he had influence he had a virgin tomb he had influence and he said look herod i need the body of this man and he said you have it there are things you have been praying for that influence will give you at a platter of gold are we together i shared with you the testimony years ago listen to me how that somebody was too short to get to nda and they said you are disqualified and then he came back and because he had access to the emir he complained and the emir said they should go back to nda and tell the people that emir yakara we should say the emir has added his height they should take him that's the power of influence are we together i have gotten certain things in my life on the sheer platform of influence you need it don't let mediocres deceive you that you don't need it that's why somebody can come and bully a church with their land and collect it together with all the lawyers there there is no influence in the military you should have influence somebody that can stand and become a representative imagine if daniel was not in babylon imagine if esther was not in the king's palace imagine if joseph was not in egypt let me show you how men there was a time they wanted to kill paul it was not prayer paul took advantage of his influence will you kill a roman citizen because the issue was too serious if he said i'm an apostle you would have died there he said i'm a roman citizen uh -uh. you don't touch roman citizens we have been preached far too long in the body of christ that the desire for influence is carnality no carnality is the influence of things on your relationship to god it has nothing to do with wealth i want to be friends with multi-millionaires i want to be friends with governmental figures so that we can come and say can you give us land for church here and they say ah you please have it protocols have been bypassed in my life protocols have been bypassed in this ministry because god has granted us grace we are friends with the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers. 
we are friends with the police the military you name it from any angle there is somebody to speak when a student is victimized on campus there are intellectuals among us there are people who we can speak to oh daddy sir mommy sir please can you help this person let me tell you it's a tragic thing when you are in the place of help and there is no voice to speak sometimes you are in the prison you don't have access to the palace you need somebody who is already in the palace to say no i endorse this person this person is a man of integrity it's not all about what you can do by yourself are we together nigeria that is full of bureaucracy and sentiment you need men and women strategically positioned to help you Matthew Ashimolowo was the first Christian to be allowed in Ghana, Ghana TV, mainstream, to preach. They refused it. The indigenous pastors did everything to do. They refused it. But when he came, because he was connected to somebody who was connected to the government, and they knew that their daily bread was dependent on it, they allowed it. Who has God raised in your life to speak for you? Brothers and sisters, you cannot rise here though. Let me tell you, it's a mystery I'm sharing with you. You need men of influence. It's a class of destiny helpers. Are we together? That somebody can speak to you. Yes, I know the rent is due and they are about to throw you out. But somebody is a friend to your landlord. He can say, please landlord, I know that you are supposed to drive this, but this person is my son. And he said, on grounds of relationship. Do you know, let me tell you, when how you know there is no help in your life is when you get into trouble you fight alone you pray alone when daniel was in the den darius could not sleep he rose up the next day he said oh daniel has your god delivered you when he said so he said bring him out go and carry all those people throw them in who can punish your enemies who has what it takes to bring to book they that speak against the purposes of god every one of our board of trustees by the grace of God this ministry is a man or a woman of influence are we together if there are people today the government cannot come and bully them there are churches one of my pastor friends was speaking to me he heads the branch of one ministry in a particular northern city and he said how that they had refused they showed him the letter signed by the governor that they cannot give land. It's impossible. No matter what you do, they cannot give church land. All the other churches that had it, had it since. But in recent times, no, they will not give it. And a particular denomination in this country, they decided to do an expansion program. And they have six of their churches there. All of them own their land. They influence shout it again somebody called somebody who said look be careful this seat you are in is for four years you don't play with no matter how stupid no matter how a madman is he does not enter fire by mistake you need influence there are many believers there are many families that are bullied and there's no one they can run to there are many men of God that are bullied They've not, the Bible said be wise as serpents you live in an economy a system that is hostile to anything God you need influence unfortunately all the people in our lives are like us we are the most influential persons among them when God taught me this I started making friends with billionaires I'm not looking for their money access and influence are we together the property that we want to get the person said they were they were giving it to somebody there are some business persons who came and wanted to get it but because of influence no 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 David, we want to give believers and we want to give this ministry brothers and sisters if you don't pray this prayer you will struggle alone you don't have to pay for everything by yourself let influence pay for some things for you one more time i'd like you to cry and say lord connect me to men of influence men who fear god they are men of influence one recommendation can give you a job it can give you a job one recommendation can honor your proposal
be wise as serpents be wise as serpents be gentle as doves be wise as serpents lift your hands I pray for you in the name of the Lord God of heaven I pray for you sincerely from the depth of my heart number one that the passion that you have for God will multiply a thousand times that the passion you have for God will multiply a thousand times number two I pray for you access to relevant teachings and material that will reprogram your mind receive it receive that access in the name of Jesus access to relevant resources that will correct wrong thinking wrong conditionings that authorize demons and self-inflicted predicaments based on an incorrect understanding of life I pray that you find access to those materials three I pray for you the gift of God upon my life by grace has opened me up to realms I never dreamt of I pray for you I don't know what gift my God has put in you but hear me brothers and sisters I want you to receive it from the depth of my heart may that gift come alive may that ability come alive may that ability come alive The discipline to refine your gift to a point of flawless global competence. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, there's one of us here. He's in the technical department. He's an expert in IT. He's absolutely good. Absolutely good. And God opened a door for him because of something he did. And he was connected to HP, their headquarters office, and they saw what he did. It was almost unbelievable that a Nigerian can do this. This gentleman I'm talking about is graduating 2018, but his employment letter from HP is already in his hands. I think it's about $180,000 per annum in his hands. Now, he's here listening. It is not your background. It is not your background. Believe me when I tell you, it is not your background. I want us to pray. There are lecturers here. There are academicians here who should not be at the level they are. Are we together? Some of our loved ones should not be there. There are some of us who have graduated, but it's as if, it's as if you are carrying a piece of paper around. You are just ready for anything because of frustration. I pray for you. Whoever has been anointed by God, to have the discernment to recognize your value and to not only celebrate it but to reward it I command them into your life right now I decree and declare that they come into your life right now every platform you need to rise to for your grace to be appreciated I command that that way is made straight for you and finally I pray for you there is an anointing that distinguishes men that grace that makes the difference that puts a supernatural touch upon all you do so that it is it is inexplainable but undeniable I pray for you in the name of Jesus that fresh grace may it come upon your life may it come upon your business may it come upon your organization May it come upon your ministry. May it come upon your certificate. May it come upon your job. In the name of Jesus. We have in this ministry with God a covenant of exemption. A covenant of exemption. That when men say there is a casting down. For us as a family of faith. We say that there is a lifting up. Not to scorn what is happening. But it's a mystery that God has shown us. 
the mystery of Goshen and Egypt, I pray that that covenant of exemption that is upon this ministry, may it be upon your life. All through this ember months, I pray, you are exempted from accident. You are exempted from death. You are exempted from failure. I pray for you. Quarter to shame. May the God that I serve arise for you. Let no man have to say, where is your God? May he arise and prove himself. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The rain is over. But just give me one minute. I want to pray. The Lord showed me a vision. And we must pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord showed me a vision. And in vision, I saw blood. I saw blood dripping. There are several people who have had all kinds of visions. Now we are responsible people. If God has made us custodians of the territory, we must make sure that within the limits of our jurisdiction, the purposes of Christ is enforced. Not necessarily in Zaria. Remember, I've taught you about the body. It's not about koinonia, it's about kingdom. If koinonia is safe and the body is destroyed, the kingdom has suffered. It's not about my church, my pastor Joshua Selman, no. Are we together? The pain of the body, the body is still the bride of Christ. We are going to pray in one minute. The festive period is coming to go and the ember months. This morning, I was lying down and I saw something. Oftentimes, I see these things and then I just pray. But this was very serious. I saw like lice, you know, teeth that blood plants on. It's like somebody just fetched them and pour, poured it over a territory. That's what I saw. And the moment I did that, I remember the book of Proverbs. They lock in hiding and they say, um, how, is, how did they put it now? We will not sleep until they are destroyed. Bloodthirsty spirits that make sure people have all kinds of accidents. The spirit of violence. You find out that people's bodies itching them just to fight and it's still violence. It's within our power as ambassadors of the kingdom. It says that we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. He said, they shall prosper who love thee. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not be silent until her glory rises of his head. She shall be like a royal diadem, a turban. We are going to pray. Stretch your hands to the north, south, east, and west and prophesy peace. First in Zaria, go ahead. Let's contribute our quota to speaking peace. Every church in Zaria is safe. Everybody in Zaria is saved. Christians, Muslims, they are saved by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. All through the festive period and all through their stay, we command every bloodthirsty spirit. We place a mark upon this spiritual border. You have no access to perform your enterprise. You have no access now begin to prophesy for other states we pray for Lagos we pray for Abuja we pray for Port Harcourt we pray for Plateau State we pray for Kaduna State no bloodshed no violence no bloodshed no violence no bloodshed Hallelujah Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.